let's take a look in detail how to use brush tool here is your brush tool i'm going to take here click here and activate my brush tool or you can use the shortcut b to activate the brush tool here i'm going to select my classic uh, soft brown brush i think i have i don't have the brush tool okay now i have the brush tool yeah now uh, when i go to this option that is uh, brush settings click on this and you get this dialog box take a new layer as we have a habit to keep everything organized layer wise so i'm going to take a new layer and uh, here i see a couple of options here let's see one by one what and how do they work this is a simple size again i can toggle the size of the brush using this maximum size is 5000 again here this flip x or y uh, let's choose this brush and we'll take get a better understanding what is flip x or y okay so this is a regular one i'm going to flip x and you can see that this is a uh, flip in horizontal direction that is uh, x as per the bar graph now let's do flip y so this will be a flip y this is upside down flip y angle i can even change the angle click and drag here or i could just uh, click and drag and turn around this and i can change the angle and the roundness click on this and squeeze it so i change the roundness that is considered the roundness in case i am into calligraphy and stuff like that i can try this roundness thing and do my brush roundness will be 100 and uh, i have spacing i can increase the space between two brush like so i can click and drag and make a stroke like that i'm going to control a and delete these pixels okay now if i do this and make the size a little smaller so you can see the spacing i can increase or decrease the spacing and if i check off the spacing it will give me a smooth line Next, we have shape dynamics. Click on this. Don't just click on the tick mark, click on the name, and then you will activate the properties of your shape dynamics here. Okay. Now, the first we see is the size jitter. Jitter means it will give me a variation in the size. When I do a. Let's uh, just increase the spacing for now okay so as you can see the brush is coming in various different sizes as you can see that so that is the size jitter and i can choose the minimum diameter if i increase the minimum diameter the size of the brush will increase it will not be very small you can notice that this particular brush that came out very small and uh, i have increased 50 percent so the minimum diameter will stay this much don't go low like that much so i can if i increase the minimum diameter full then every uh, stroke will every brush will stay the same uh, next is angle jitter i'll just bring down the minimum diameter angle jitter will give me as the name itself suggest variation in the angle of the brush now it comes in different angles as i go on roundness jitter will give me variation in roundness yeah as simple as that next i have scattering in scatter i can scatter the brushes in x and y axis like so just one click and you can see where i click it came up and below it will even come in sides let's say i want to do something like grass and uh, like so I can use this kind of brush so it will just scatter around branch grass and I can choose the count. I, if I increase this, it will give me way too much quantity of these brushes. And the count jitter, it will give me variation in count as well. This one, see, as you can see, it just came to here and 1620 here. 
so that's the account jitter in terms of scattering process next i have is texture i'm gonna just bring down the spacing for a while yeah the texture increase the brush and then within the brush you see there is a texture i can click select the texture from here now i have another texture that is trees and it has something like this going on you can see a tree texture within the brush if i invert it will give me the opposite effect like so so there is a texture within the brush if that's what you require you can increase the scale of the texture or decrease the scale of the texture this will give me many trees within this kind of increase which just give me a little bigger one brightness will give me a very bright texture okay uh, take off the take down the brightness it will just go away texture will just go away a little bit of brightness is okay to get the texture right this is a good texture though contrast i can even increase the contrast now uh, it is fine yeah now it looks very clear texture becomes very clear texture to each tip I'm gonna keep that off. Uh, if you click, here, click this on, this texture seems to go away. We have few blend modes with the texture. With the height you don't get much. Linear height also. There's a little bit of texture, but they're only at the edges. Hard mix, a little more at the edges again compared to the linear height. Linear burn will give me a little more texture, and you can explore around which texture works for you the best, and then apply texture overlay depth to overlay. darken, subtract, or multiply, classic multiply. Okay, I'll just give control A and delete to remove everything in this layer. Next I have a dual brush. Now I can use two brushes in one single brush. Let's uh, say I choose this brush. So now within this brush I can I get another brush. As you can see that, that brush is applying within this brush. So I can use this as a second dual brush. I can increase and decrease the size of that brush as well. I have a full control of what I do here. Spacing also. The spacing. Scatter in both or just don't scatter. Scatter increase and you see the scatter. Count will just vary the count in every single stroke. Mm -hmm. So you can do a lot using this option. Here I have color dynamics. Using this, I can make a different color brush in just single stroke. Like uh, let's say, I'll just increase this foreground to background jitter, and this will give me that color variation. But if I change the color here, let's say I'm gonna do it blue or whatever. Yeah, so you can see I get a different color shade every time I go. Yeah. The hue jitter will just give me a proper variation in the hue. And uh, here, it will give me a different variation of color. Saturation will give me a difference in saturation as well. Hue jitter will full. All kinds of colors, no bar. Brightness jitter will give me light and dark both jitter at the same time. Purity is the purity of the uh, color this is the pure color currently this i have the pure colors so i bring down the purity the purity of the color is gone it will go back to black and white or grayish tints okay transfer 
you can use opacity jitter as well uh, let's just give a little bit of spacing to my brush okay now now I'll see that opacity and with the flow as well Low would overlap the brushes and opacity would not. The difference between the flow and jitter. Noise will give me a little this is noise in the grain but actually you see this is noise when compared to this one it doesn't have any noise here. Wet edges will give me effect like a paint. Gives me wet edges like that. So these are some few brush settings you can use and create an object or a landscape.